Do Not Be Proud of Your Fine Feathers by Thomas Watson Behold here a sacred riddle or paradox. God was manifest in the flesh. That man should be made in God's image was a wonder, but that God should be made in man's image is a greater wonder. That the Ancient of Days should be born, that he who thunders in the heavens should cry in the cradle, that he who rules the stars should suck the breast, that Christ should be made of a woman, and of that woman which he himself made, that the mother should be younger than the child she bore. This is the most astonishing miracle. God was manifest in the flesh, is a mystery we shall never fully understand until we come to heaven, when our light shall be clear, as well as our love perfect. He humbled himself, and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Philippians 2, verse 8. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. This was the lowest degree of Christ's humiliation, that Christ, who would not endure sin in the angels, should endure to have sin imputed to himself, is the most amazing humility that ever was. Christian, learn to be humble. Do you see Christ humbling himself, and are you proud? It is the humble saint who is Christ's picture. Christians, do not be proud of your fine feathers. Have you an estate? Do not be proud. The earth you tread on is richer than you. It has mines of gold and silver in its depths. Have you beauty? Do not be proud. It is but water mingled with dirt. Have you skill and abilities? Be humble. Lucifer has more knowledge than you. Have you grace? Be humble. It is not of your own making. It was given to you by God. You have more sin than grace more spots than beauty. Oh, look on Christ, this rare pattern of humility, and be humbled. It is a sad sight to see God humbling himself and man exalting himself, to see a humble Savior and a proud sinner. God hates the very semblance of pride, I hate pride and arrogance. Proverbs 8, verse 13. If God, says Augustine, did not spare the angels when they grew proud, will he spare you who are but dust and sin? This Puritan devotional has been brought to you by Grace Gems a treasury of ageless sovereign grace writings. Please visit our website at www.gracegems.org where you can browse and freely download thousands of choice books, sermons, and quotes along with select audio messages. No donations accepted. Thank you.